guys welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new my name is Kristen and today's video I'm going to be doing my weekly budget for my cash stuffing um I already counted my money the money's right here this is my take-home tips from my previous week we are going to be budgeting out 945 dollars I like to do this to just walk through and make sure that I'm putting the right money in the right categories and all that stuff. So this is how I do my weekly budget for my weekly cash stuffings. On another note, please excuse my nails. I have yet to take the time to properly take my polish off. So don't look at my nails. They are um, pretty banged up right now. So that's on my to-do list. So like I said, we are going to be budgeting out $945. I've done this video a few times now. So um, if you want other videos like that, go back and check out. I think it's they're under my budget with me playlist. But we're going to jump right in. Um, I always start with my expense and bills binder. I just call it expenses. Um... And these categories usually don't change. I usually know how much I'm putting in these unless I have, like for gas, if I have like a trip coming up or I know I'm going to be driving more or say like I know that we need to go to Costco, I'll put a little bit more in there. Um, but rent every week, I do throw in 300 uh, Groceries this week, I'm going to do 60 That's usually what I do. Actually... It's Thanksgiving. I'm going to do 80. Um, and then we'll start subtracting. After I do this is what I subtract. And then the rest is kind of like money to play with. Um, gas, I'm going to do 50. And then phone, 25 as always every week. My health insurance is going to get 62. And then this week, life insurance, I'm going to give it. 70 because I like to throw in there usually it's 68 every week and then one week I'll do 70 only working like two days so I probably won't be bringing in the big books so all right let's add this up so 380 50 25 62 and 70 so that's five fit 587 so if we subtract 945 from 587, this is how much we have to work with for savings challenges and sinking funds. So I make sure that um, my bills and expense binders are covered first before I put anything in. So like next week when I'm sitting down to do my cash stuffing for the last week of November, it probably won't be that much since I am only working a couple days. It'll probably just go to my bills and expenses. We'll see. Who knows? I may have like a killer day and make a bunch of money. You just never know. It's so inconsistent in the restaurant world right now. So, um, yeah. And then I also don't go through my binder just because they don't like these ones. I like to see how much is in there, how much I can add, how much I don't need to add, whatever else. Um, these ones are just like these are bills and they have a specific amount that I need to put in here every every week. <clears throat> excuse me okay so savings challenges is next and then now I'm going to pull out my binders and start kind of going through I know I'm almost done with this challenge I'm going to do the 50 yeah and that'll be perfect for next week if I leave the 10 for next week since I probably won't have I'm honestly like we've been we've been like slow but I've I've been bartending and serving so I'm making like decent money because I'm actually taking tables um but we don't have it so I'm literally doing everything so it's it's exhausting um but it's like the only way to make money right now so we're gonna do 50 for savings challenge for 20 2023 and then what did I say that was 87 so 358 minus 308 okay I would love to do like 98 that would be amazing but I want to throw a little bit more money to my hair and to Christmas envelope so I'm not gonna do that so 98 um 
maybe we should just do like 28 or 38. <laughs> At least we're saving a little bit. What is 38? One, 270? I think I like that. So we'll do 38 because I have, I have that available. So our envelope is 38. And this is 88. I don't know why I'm writing my eights like that. Sometimes I do and then sometimes I do them like that. I was writing the other day and, and I do have one Starbucks. So I just put this off to the side. And I don't like really include that in there. Um, but I was writing and my friend's like, since when do you do your eights like that? And I'm like, I don't know. I honestly do it like sometimes I'll do the the infinity, like, you know, sign eight. And then sometimes I do the circles. It's just, it's weird. I don't know. I don't know why I do that. Okay, so now that these are taken care of and out of the way, we're going to move into sinking funds. And I like to start with my short-term sinking funds first. And then I just kind of go through each envelope, see how we're doing, kind of see if we have, if I have anything coming up. So I have 270 to work with. I'm going to put this right here just so I have a reminder of like, that's how much I got going on. Um, and now we're just going to go through the envelopes and distribute this money. I think Bentley, I'm going to give him a 20 because we need to get food. And then I'm also going to get him some, I don't know. I may get him like a Christmas sweater. I kind of want to, I was at home goods the other day and I sent David a picture of one and he was like, no. So I don't know. I want to. They're so cute. I think he would be so cute in it. Okay. Beauty. Let's see. I think I'm going to do 10. Um, because I need to get some more shampoo and with Black Friday coming up. I don't know. I'm, there may be sales. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put 10 in there. Can you even see my calculator? Um, okay, so 240. Car maintenance. I think I'm just going to put five. I just kind of push money in here. I don't really spend out of it unless I need a car wash. Clothes. Let's see how much clothes has. 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90. Let's round this up to... A solid hundred okay so what do we do minus 15 50 60 okay wait 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 what did I, I'm going backwards and then forwards 50 40 35 what I need help oh wait okay 308 minus 38 Yes, okay. Oh, okay, wow, okay. Anyways, uh, I obviously cannot do math without a calculator. Um, Date night, I think I'm just gonna do five because I know I've got a pretty good amount in here, but I like to put just a little bit in here each week. Fun. I actually need to pull money out of here for my weekly check-in because I'm doing this on a Monday. And so we went to the Niner game yesterday and I spent some money and so I need to pay myself back. So I don't remember how much that was. I got to do my, my expense tracking. Let's see. <laughs> Let's just do five. I don't think I spent that much. It was probably like 20 bucks, honestly. I think I just bought food. I'm not drinking right now, so I didn't like spend any money on drinks. It was all just food. So we'll do five. Groomers, let's do five. Hmm. Self-care. I actually want to get a massage. I'm... I've got, I'm going to put a 20 because I've got plenty of wiggle room in that 210. 
me up. Okay. And then stickers, I'm gonna do, how much is in here? Black Friday's coming up. 10, 15, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. Okay, almost 30. I'm gonna do 15. What's 15 look like? Yeah, that's perfect. Cause I usually spend about 40, but with Black Friday, it may be like less than that it's usually like 30% off as the normal like 15% off okay so now we'll go into more long-term sinking funds and then we'll be done okay so card tags always gets five dollars that's just a given Christmas I'm gonna do 40 I already know Um, and I'm definitely going to be shopping this week. So we have 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 60, 80, 10, 20, 40, 60, 80, 11, 20. Yeah, we'll do 40. Okay. <clears throat> Disney, I'm going to do 20. And then David, I think I'm going to pull, he, I'm going to get him a new espresso machine for Christmas. And depending on how much it is, I've been on the hunt, but I'm, again, I'm waiting for Black Friday to see if there's anything that goes on like super sale. 60, 70, 85. 90, okay, I'm gonna do 15. I was gonna do 20. How's that? Oh. Okay, 120, yeah, that's perfect. So I might use some of his envelope money for his Christmas present, depending on how like the rest of Christmas shopping goes. I think I have a good chunk of, I'm gonna stuff future babies. 20, 30, let's do 10. I like to work with like even numbers. Um, yeah, I think I have a decent amount in Christmas. I don't have a ton of people to shop for. Hair is gonna get 40, I'm pretty sure. Two, 20, 40, 60, 80, five, 286. Yeah, let's give it 40. I have an appointment next week. Um, mom, 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 holidays and gifts. I am going to give it 20. I'm not going to count it, but we'll throw 20 in there. Planners. I'm going to just slowly save for whenever I feel like buying a new planner. Save halfway through the year next year. I'm not liking my systems. I have a little money set aside. Um, so we'll see. Uh, did I mess up? I feel like maybe I did. I don't know. So I have David, Richard Baby, Hair, Holidays, Planners, Tattoo. I'm not, I don't think I want to stuff Tattoo. Okay, let me redo this. I feel like I missed. I do this a lot. This is like when I don't film, I like go back and... Resubtract five minus five minus twenty minus fifteen. Minus five. Okay, yeah, see I missed something. Um okay, so I'm gonna give that twenty. Cause tattoo I'm like I said, I think I'm just pause this till the new year. I'm going to focus on some other categories right now. Um, and then travel, I always like to push a little bit of money in here. Just for if something comes up or whatnot. So we'll put 20 in there. So that's it. That is my zero-based budget for my upcoming cash stuffing for November. I hope that you guys enjoyed. I hope that 
it helped maybe to see how I kind of do a zero based budget. These are obviously not my all of my bills. These are just some of my major big expenses and some fluctuating expenses um, like my gas and groceries. Those are very variable. Um, and then my health insurance and my life insurance, those are bigger expenses, same as rent. So I like to save a little bit each week for those. If you guys want to see like a full monthly budget, I do have those on my channel as well. Um, but this is just mainly for my sinking funds and my cash envelopes and how I kind of break those down from week to week. So then at the end of the month, I go back through and I'll close out my sinking funds. And that's where all of these numbers come from is how much money I added to my sinking funds. And then on my weekly check-ins, I can see how much I'm spending in my sinking funds. So it's a whole system I've got going on. Um, but yeah, guys, I hope that you enjoyed. Maybe I'll highlight these because I usually do. And yeah, I hope that you enjoyed. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. I really would appreciate it. I appreciate all you guys' love already. Um, all you guys' subscribers. I love you guys so much. I love this community so much. Like, it literally keeps me going and holds me so accountable. I feel like I would just not be on top of my budget as much as I am if I didn't film my process. But again, guys, thank you. If you aren't subscribed, I would love for you to join the family. I post all budget-related content, um, weekly cash stuffings, all that fun stuff. So that's it, guys. I will see you in a video real soon.